Hello and welcome to Aussie Indian and I have one of the very well known personalities from India attending the Australia India Literature International Forum Mr Girish Karnad Girish Karnad welcome to Aussie Indian Thank you thank you very much Is this your first visit to Sydney Very much your first visit to Australia in fact and I'm sorry it's my first visit I wish I'd come earlier <laughs> We have put on a great weather for you to start yes, with Yes I know it's terrific you, you, you did mention too in your speech. Beautiful. I mean, it's uh, and it's the kind of weather you don't get in South India. So I know the the know. S- the cool sun, bright sun. You know. <laughs> of course, we remember you from the days of Samskara when uh, it hit the headlines. You mentioned about it in your speech also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it something that uh, is uh, sort of a turning point in your career? Yes, indeed, and it's also a turning point in my connections with Australia because it was yes. photographed by Tom Coven, who was the um in the photographer at that time he had made no feature film he was just um wandering around was, you know this was in the 60s when yes. being like the flower children was in fashion <laughs> and he was there in some um, the artist colony in madras and so on. and he shot the film and uh, he shot the film without any money and he was there for a whole month with us and uh, the film was banned initially for various political reasons and then was uh, became the uh, won the president's gold medal yes and um, it's something of a landmark for the what it done in photography and um, um, you know tom has a very important uh, place in indian uh, cinematographic history um, so that's my connection with australia to right. begin with right no. well when you are anant murthy wrote that uh, script or uh, the story Uh, it was uh, very controversial yes, yes. Uh, in Karnataka and in fact uh, it uh, came out as a movie which everyone said shouldn't be seen yeah. by uh, but uh, do you think that the indian cinema has grown out of it now grown out of in what sense uh, well those controversies and they are uh, prepared no controversies oh, carry on God. that is now of course samskara is accepted as a, a Um, um, uh, you know something of a classic the book and so is the uh, uh, film you know uh, and so no one worries about it but other controversies come and they come and go mm-hmm. india as you know is a controversial place uh-huh. and uh, people are claiming to get hurt all the time but uh-huh. i mean you know, that goes on of course uh, do you still have a uh, passion for writing i have a passion for writing i still write plays if uh, you know i'm basically a playwright yes and um, I write plays and I keep writing plays. I can't do films; it requires too much energy. I'm too old to direct <laughs> a film. Um, so, yes, um, I, I write, and I've just written a play, mm-hmm. and um, well, it's been fun. <laughs> do you, Do you write only in Canada and English, or do you write in other languages? God, that's <laughs> bad enough. I'm doing in Canada <laughs> and then translating it into English or writing into English. Writing a play itself is a very a demanding job it's not easy it's a very difficult art form mm-hmm. and um, i have done it and um, yes i write in kannada first usually and then translate it into english and we not only see you in uh, we saw you in kannada films but nowadays we are seeing you in bollywood films as well hindi films as well no i actually did most of my work in bollywood films mainly not because i liked it but because it is good money mm-hmm. in the 60s and 70s right uh, very forgettable films but very unforgettable money mm-hmm. so so i did um, now i have done a bollywood film ekta tiger ekta tiger yeah which has been a huge success yes. so so is there more coming in from bollywood <coughs> industry it's not normal for bollywood to ask someone who's outside you know i live in bangalore but ekta tiger when i asked the director why have you cast me he said well the film will run or not run on salman khan's name so i can cast anyone i like for the other roles <laughs> so that's it so it me other people me or me not if they like the role they may cast me it depends on uh, you are a writer and uh, you are a play uh, uh, you do the dramas and also now in bollywood films and kannada films if i ask you to put a finger on your most passionate work what would that be i'm a playwright i'm basically a playwright there's no question at all if i had the choice if i didn't have to make money i would have been a playwright all my life but i mean you know you have to the money is good in film so one can't grumble about that okay. so how did you get into this uh, australia india liter- literatures international forum i just form? got a letter from rudula saying would you like to come and i said oh i have not been to australia and this is it so let me go so 
Uh, and uh, how important a role do you think this will play, the exchange of uh, these kinds of uh, uh, literary figures between Australia in and India in improving the relations between <coughs> India and Australia? Well, it's a beginning. It can go on. You know, it, it, it's, we are writers are intellectuals. They can shape the intellectual atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And therefore, knowing, getting to know each other, um, you know, can 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 help. Like uh, it's not just writers. Like Tom Coven, you know, as something of a, a legend in Canada film history, yeah. uh, and that kind of involvement does help in the longer run. I mean, you know, and uh, we are not talking of kind of diplomatic connections, but cultural connections, and that will depend on films going across, films being made, books going across, books being translated, read. You know. Uh, Patrick White, for instance, I know Alexis Wright, who is here, whom I was delighted to meet. He's a great writer. Uh, Carey, Peter Carey, you know, one knows these Australian writers because they've been very good writers. Of course. Many of uh, our, uh, especially people from Karnataka as well as uh, generally from India, look up to you as uh, their hero. What would, oh be, what would be your message to them, Mr. Girish Karna? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have heroes. Do what you want to do and that's it. Girish Kanar, thanks for talking to Thank us, you. Indian. Thank you. I am really grateful.